everyone, welcome back to my channel. I remain your Dr. Ada Zion at OBGYN Talks with Dr. Ada Zion. Today, I'll be talking about sex selection. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube page. Thank you for subscribing to my Facebook page. And I thank you so much. Now, we'll be talking about sex selection. For any couple in their journey of reproduction, you are allowed to choose any sexes, any of the sexes that you want, either a male child or a female child. There are methods that have been developed that will help you to choose what you want. Either you want a child that is a boy or you want a child that is a female. Now, let me go on with the teaching. For every woman, your circle length, that is, if you say to be normal, if you have a circle length of 21 to 35 days, what do I mean by circle length? For, from the day of the beginning of your first menses to the next menses, when you calculate it, it should fall between 21 and 35 days. If you have any of these, it is normal circle length. It may not be regular. This month may be 21, next month may be 28, the other one may be 30. It is still within normal. It will help you calculate how to get what you want. Now, it is the span cell is said to live for a few hours to five to seven days after the position in the posterior furnace. The posterior furnace is in the vagina. So when it's deposited, it lives between a few hours to five to seven days. There are two chromosomes. There are two chromosomes on the sperm cell. One is X chromosome and the other one is Y chromosome. Why the egg, the egg that the woman releases in the ovary, has two X chromosomes. So the male baby is determined by the chromosome that the man deposits in the posterior for whether it's the X or the Y, and which of them meets the egg first. So for a woman that is looking for female or male baby the male chromosome that is the y chromosome is said when deposited to swim faster in the reproductive part to meet the egg and dies earlier why the female chromosome which is the x chromosome from the man swims slower and does not die as early as the male chromosome so that one can stay as long as five to seven days so if a woman ovulates and it's the Y chromosome that meets it, you give birth to a baby boy. Every baby boy has X and Y chromosome. But if, the, if it gives birth to a baby girl, that means the X chromosome from the man met the X chromosome from the woman. Every girl child has two X chromosomes. Now let's go on with the calculation. This is the normal menstrual cycle calendar. This is from day one to day 35. It's assumed that your menstrual starts here. And the next message will start either after 21 days or 35 days. So for a woman that has an average of 28 day cycle, it's assumed that the woman ovulates at the 14th day because time of ovulation is calculated retrospectively from menstrual time. So if you saw your period at 28 days and you calculate backwardly, you get 14 days, you'll find out that you ovulated around 14th day of your cycle. For every woman that is 30 days, this is the 30-day cycle, you'll find out that you ovulate around the 16th day. They will call it the luteal phase. We have both follicular phase and ovulation, then the luteal phase. The luteal phase comes after ovulation. And that luteal phase is constant. It's always 14 days. But the follicular phase, which comes before ovulation, is the one that varies. So if you have about 32-day cycle, this is 32-day cycle. The woman calculated retrospectively, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The woman is expected to ovulate around 19th and 18th day. So, normal fertile period of a woman falls between 8th day to 22nd day. To 22nd day. Depending on the length of your cycle. If you are 21 day cycle, your fertile period starts from here and could end as long as here. So, for a woman that is 28 days cycle, your fertile period stands around, around here and egg ends around here. So, an egg, when released, stays around few hours to 36 hours. So, when a woman ovulates and the sperm is already there prior to ovulation, depending on how long that sperm has been there, it could be the Y and the X or the X sperm chromosome that is going to meet the egg. If you want a baby girl, 
you are advised to start sexual intercourse from it could even start before after the menstrual period and continues but we try as much as possible to avoid at least two days to ovulation so that you will not have the y chromosome deposited which will run faster to go and meet the egg and you give birth to another baby boy that's if you're looking for a baby boy but if you're looking if you're looking if that's if you're looking for a baby girl if you're looking for a baby boy we advise you to wait till your ovulation and if your menstrual cycle is 28 days, you wait till your 14th day, the time you ovulate, and you now go and meet your partner or your husband to give birth to a baby boy. Now, if you are looking for a baby girl, we advise you for a woman that has 28 day cycle to start from 12th day and continue, continue to all your um, uh, fertile period elapses so that you'll be able to have a baby girl leaving your ovulation days two days on or two days away we don't want this boy chromosome to go remember it swings faster but dies faster that is for woman that wants a baby girl for a woman that wants a baby boy and your circle length is 30 days circle remember the ovulation first at around for 15 days with this we calculate retrospectively for a period of time for those that their circle length is not regular so if your circle length is 30 days, you are expected to ovulate around 16th day. And you want a baby boy, we advise you to meet your husband on the day of the ovulation. Let me repeat the basis again. Your circle length, you calculate it, you get your time of ovulation. If you want a baby boy, please meet your husband on the day of ovulation. If you want a baby girl, meet your husband before the day of your ovulation and avoid the day of your ovulation as much as possible so that the white chromosome will not go and fertilize the egg now there are other methods to know that you are ovulating for a woman that uh, feels the pain we call it mid-cycle pain it can give you a sign that you are you are about to ovulate or that you are ovulated so we have the stretching of the cervical mucus this shows that you are ovulated so this that cervical mucus is stretchy and transparent it can even draw so much so it gives the woman clue that i am ovulating i'm about to ovulate so you get through the pattern of the sexes that you want other method we can use is follicular we do follicular tracking we use ultrasound to track the egg and know when it's when the woman is about to ovulate. The normal egg, we call it graphene follicle. As you are, as you start tracking, start from the tenth day and we we'll do alternate day till the day that egg ruptures. What happens is that if a woman is about to ovulate, the graphene follicle will, one will grow bigger. We call it dominant follicle. It will grow bigger from eighteen millimeters and above. We expect that egg to rupture and the day it ruptures, then you're looking baby boy. We we'll ask you to go and meet your husband on the day it ruptures, hoping that the man Y chromosome on the sperm cell will be the one to meet the egg to fertilize it and give birth to an XY baby is a boy, XX baby is a girl. I hope that this little teaching taught you on how to calculate your menstrual cycle, menstrual cycle, time of ovulation, and how to get the sex you want. I wish you the best in the journey of reproduction. God bless you. Thank you. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and follow my page.